Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and uh, tell whoever in your list that we are live on air. Uh, actually, this is a, a video I'm doing now. Before I leave, I have my bags ready to leave, uh, getting ready to go out soon. Um, uh, and I will be in a different country. Uh, and the funny, you know, someone sent me um, a message saying to me that this Abdul from Germany, he said that Christian Prince, he came to Germany because nobody listened to him in English, but he forgot the idiot. Still, I'm speaking in English anyway. I mean. <laughs> Germany, he said, that Christian Prince, he came. Let me just mute my phone here. So the reason Christian Prince, he went to Germany because nobody is listening to him in uh, those who speak English, but everybody listening to me is only those who speak English, actually. Um, because simply I cannot communicate with people who speak German unless I get a translator. Now, me going to different countries is not something new, it's something I do for many, many, many years. And if we look at the map around us, uh, you know, I've been in all those countries in the front of us, including North America, South America, uh, uh, you know, uh, Middle East, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, uh, Iraq, uh, Syria. Uh, uh, Lebanon, uh, you know, uh, many, many countries. Uh, and if you go, uh, you know, without counting how many countries in Europe I visited, in this trip alone, I visited, uh, let us see, one, two, three, four, and tomorrow will be number five. So tomorrow, I mean, actually to today, uh, I will be, uh, uh, you know, at night, by night time, we will be in different uh, country. So, the Abdul is saying that I'm going to different countries because nobody listened to me uh, from those who speak English, but that's very stupid to say. Uh, you know, I went all the way to Philippines, Korea, China, uh, now in Europe, you know, I live in America, you, know, you name it. I mean, but, uh, but the the reason for uh, for Abdul to say what he say, he said, uh, and I'm trying to quote, but as it translate to me, that I am trying to spread my poison in Germany, and I don't know what the poison I'm spreading in Germany, because this idiot he forgot that according to Islam, anything we Christians we do, Allah is responsible for it, for He is the one who wrote our destiny. In case you do not know what I'm talking about, Muslims believe in destiny and uh, everything happened in life, according to Muslims, it happened because Allah, uh, He decided that to happen. Uh, nothing happened in this earth, according to Muslims, of our choice. And we showed you just a video before and the video before and the video before, tons of examples. And even the Quran says that Allah will spread the hate and enmity between the Christians. So even if you accuse me of hate, go blame your God Allah, for He is the source of hate. And this is, can be found in Quran, chapter 5, verse number 14. Uh, they told me in the video, he said that I don't speak uh, good Arabic. This is very funny. Arabic is my first language. I don't read Quran very well. This guy don't even know how to say two words, even his, his name is wrong. It's not Arabic, there is nothing, it's called Ramadan. Uh, uh, his prophet do not know even how to read, how to write. I mean, look look at the stupidity of those people. They are saying, oh, you do not know how to read it correctly, but your prophet cannot even read his name. Not only how you can judge me if I can read correctly or not, if you yourself don't even speak Arabic. Very stupid, very funny argument, but I understand your pain. And here we spank your prophet every day. So what I'm expecting from you, except pain and screaming and calling names. Now, I'm not going to waste my time with this kid. Uh, and he want me to send him my book in BDF, not only my book in BDF. <laughs> that's, that's the best joke ever. Any Muslim, he dare to debate me, and he proved me wrong. He will get my books for free. This is my promise. I keep my promise. You did not even call me for a second, you idiot. 
So call me, debate me, at least speak to me for an hour. Hour, huh? You know what? I have an offer for this guy. And I want everybody to witness. If this man is man enough to call me and speak to me for one hour, expose as much as you can. You will get my books for free regardless what you do. What I mean, you win, you lose, it doesn't matter. I will give you the books for free, but not in PDF. I will send it to you. Be a man and accept the challenge. Debate me for one hour. Just one hour. You know, I know you are begging for free books because you are cheap to the point you don't want to buy. And you know, he asked his friends to go. You can search for the videos if somebody from Germany, if you can pause the video. This idiot filthy, he is he he asked the Muslims to go and give a bad review to my book, but yet he admitted he have no not even one page of my book because he's saying I need your book so I can expose your lies. So how you were saying to everybody I'm a liar? That's when you are the liar. You told people to go and give a bad review because the bad the, the book is bad, but you never have the book. And you said it clearly, gave a fake review. This is how fake you are, the same as your prophet. May Allah increase the size of his uh, chair. Now, uh, yeah, and he said, uh, what they told me? Uh, You know, they told me that uh, I am the student of uh, Zakaria, uh, Father Zakaria Butros. You see, I will be honored actually to be uh, a person who learned from this uh, gentleman, but I did not really learn from him. Uh, I heard him, you know, a few times, and he is a great, wonderful person, but he is not uh, my teacher for a very simple reason, Abdul. I was working exposing Islam before even Zakaria Butros is even known in America. So you, obviously you are an idiot who do not know you are talking to who. Uh, I'm working in uh, exposing Islam for a long, long, long time. Since the internet started, I started in the internet. And before that, I was doing it without the internet because simply there was no internet. But I respect highly uh, Zakaria Botros. He's a wonderful man. Uh, he's a great uh, knowledgeable person for those who like to learn. And, uh, you know, he got uh, Muslims busted in many ways. And actually, uh, I learned some ideas from him about, uh, as an example, who, he is the one who discovered uh, that uh, the names of Allah, 99 names, uh, are, you know, are not true. And he, he got the Muslim busted with that. So I did not really study that uh, that part. It was Zakaria Butros who mentioned it. And nothing wrong. That's all of us. We learn from each other. Uh, he might listen to me, learn from me. I might listen to him, learn. You know, uh, uh, learning from someone else is not a shame, Abdul. You are a stupid idiot like your prophet. We should learn. And anyone who think he knew it all, that means he is stupid. I learn every day. When I read it from Al-Qurtubi, I'm learning from Al-Qurtubi. So who is my teacher? Al-Qurtubi. Okay, no problem. I'm learning from Al-Qurtubi. Not No shame to learn from anyone. Uh, I remember first time I got my computer, I turned it on. I, did, I don't know even how to turn it off. Like, so I know nothing about computers. I know nothing about software. So I was trying to turn the computer off from the same bomb where you, you know, turn it on. I, you know, it's like a switch. I thought you turn it off from there because I never use it. Nobody taught me. So it's normal. You know, a kid, he might teach you something. So it's very stupid of you to claim such a claim because regardless who is the one who taught me, whoever I learn from, he is someone taught me. Al-Bukhari taught me. Your Prophet taught me things. He taught me that he, Muhammad is an idiot. Your Allah taught me many things, that he is fake. So yes, I learn, and this is how life is. Nobody is born with knowledge except Jesus, the Messiah, who in the Quran, according to the Quran, spoke saying, I am the Messiah, I am the messenger of God speaking to you. Speaking to you what? With knowledge. Muhammad took him 40 years, the idiot to get a message from his God. And then Allah squeezed him three times. And after squeezing him three times, still Muhammad did not get it. He went to his wife. He told her, cover me, cover me. And he was snoring, sneezing, going crazy with fever, like, like, like a camel. And then he told his wife, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You know, obviously he's sick, he's mentally ill. And then we find that Muhammad, he was imagining himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. 
so we learned we learned a lot of things my friend and life is is, is a process of learning uh, yesterday I said that bacteria have no water one of you posted in the text no that bacteria has water I did check it out it's true you know which mean I was wrong so this person he taught me something nothing wrong with that you know I thought bacteria you know because as I know there's you cannot kill bacteria by by uh, freezing them uh, you can kill bacteria by uh, heat but how they can survive the freezing this is could not I could not really understand so I thought maybe bacteria don't have water but so here we go one of you he taught me something and I appreciate the person sometime I made a, a wrong pronunciation in English one of you correct me that's mean you are more knowledgeable than me in English and that's very you know fine with me I mean why what's what's wrong with somebody teaching someone we all learn from each other and I don't claim to be the person who is uh, uh, you know I, I I have a lot of knowledge about that the, you see let me tell you what my father he told me when I graduated from the Islamic court the, uh, let us say Islamic uh, Sharia law or law uh, uh, degree he said to me uh, I called him to tell them that I uh, I'm happy I finished you know today I graduated my father he said to me you get a degree in 14 I was so upset because imagine you work all those years to graduate and then your father he says to you because he don't like what I was doing what I'm studying he wanted me to be something different doctor you know uh, so uh, it was not his, his wish it was my wish and actually I was punished for it my father he refused even to support me financially since I was in the age of 17 just because I chose uh, you know after I finished my high school to go and study the, the study he liked, which to be a doctor. So he said, you want to study that? Then you are on your own. I said, fine. Since then, I never took a penny from my, my father. Uh, so when he said to me, you get a degree in 14, I agree with him. Now I, now I agree. At that time, I was angry because, you know, I, I was saying like, okay, I finished. I'm proud. I get a degree. So somebody should say to me the opposite. We are proud of you. But he was unhappy because this is a degree in 14 and i agree totally what i learned from islam i mean islam is a stupid religion if we go right now to any islamic website what the question is can i fart in the mosque huh? shaitan he do fart each time you call for a prayer shaitan do fart this is islam go right now and search in in youtube about farting in the mosque you will find tons of Muslims, scholars, supposedly, teaching you how and what is the rules of farting. Have you ever heard of religion like this? There's a guy, he got, he got degrees in, in, in farting. Because, you know, Islam is specifically, you know, Al Khomeini, he said to the Muslim Sunni, that you have a huge library on bathroom knowledge which means from the west and down but the shia are not better they have a huge library in the same garbage so when a muslim speak about knowledge me myself i learn every day something new you know you go through a book you never read before and you discover something new suddenly you know uh, same you read my book you discover everything for you and you because simply you never been through those uh, uh, the, the history of Islam and the garbage of Islam so learning from somebody is great because this is how it is my friend somebody have to learn from somebody and no shame in that so if you try to put me down saying okay Christian Prince he learned from this guy even if it's not true I might you know learn from, even from him from this Abdul something you know you never know he is an idiot, he's a stupid, but maybe he can fix my faucet. Maybe, you know, but then no. But uh, maybe he can uh, make a, he can teach me how to uh, put a cotton in the anus of a dead man, because this is what Islam teach you. I, I, I never did that before, but maybe he did, you know. Uh, if you remember, there's a, there's a story of a man who died, and the scholar, he says, this man is not dead, and he's a Muslim. The other Muslim, they said to him, how do you know he is not dead? He said, because if you place your finger in his anus, if it is cold, that's mean he is dead. If it is warm, that's mean he's alive. And then the scholar continues saying, and after I said that, all the ones presented in the funeral, they started placing their fingers in the anus of the dead man.
and they found that he was not there. So maybe he is, a, you know, he, he have no religion. Islam is a stupid religion, and to claim that you know it all, it's impossible, uh, especially with thousands of Islamic sect. Muhammad, he said, my nation will be 73 sect. This is stupid, and the additional false prophecy of Muhammad, nobody can count how many sect there is in Islam. It is impossible. Same time, every sect have different uh, uh, teaching to the point they don't match anything. You see, the ruling of marriage, even the Islam inside this Islamic Sunni sect is different. Divorce, uh, 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 rape, it, it, Sunni sect themselves, they don't agree with each other. And they don't, like they call themselves Sunni, yes, but the fact their sect, which is born out of sect, born out of sect, they say to you, we have four uh, uh, Sunni sect, but the fact this is absolutely false. There is tons of sect right now are born of the Sunni. Uh, as an example, uh, the, the one who I wrote in my book, uh, Quran and Science, uh, about his false miracle, his name is Harun Yahya. Uh, I forgot his real name. He's arrested right now, actually. You know, you see this guy, he have a bunch of belly dancers in his uh, a da'wah show to bring people to Islam. Women wearing almost no clothes, very short skirt, drinking whiskey and beer. And he said that bikini is the Islamic veil. That is a sect, and he's a Sunni. His sect believe in that. His sect believe that Allah did not forbid whiskey, Allah forbid wine. Show me where the whiskey is in the Quran. That's what he said. Show me where in the Quran it says women, they should not wear bikini, you know? Where? You know, the, the, the story in the Quran is speaking about the wives of Muhammad should not be exposed. And the reason for that exposure, exposure was Umar al-Khattab, who was a spine at the ass of Sauda, where in the hadith he said, Arif naki ya Sauda. Arif naki ya Sauda. So he was spying at her, making fun of her ass because she is big, and making fun of her because he noticed her or he saw her doing poo-poo. And with no shame, he screamed, saying, Oh, we saw you, Sauda. Hey, Sauda, I saw you. So all what Muslims claim to be knowledge is knowledge of farting, garbage, and crazy. I mean, you know, if, if I go right now and I try to understand this hadith in front of me, the Prophet said, when shaitan hears, the call to prayer, he turns back and break winds so as not to hear the call being made. Okay, hold on, hold on. So the purpose of shaitan farting that he will not hear the call of the prayer. Just to show you how stupid liar Muhammad is. You see, in order to cover a sound, you have to make a sound from the similar frequency. To make it simple for you, if I can hear music, I can hear music, and there is a, a whistle for dogs, I don't know if you know about it, which you cannot hear it, but dogs can hear it, okay? So how I can cover something which is the call of the prayer, which is the human being voice, by farting, unless it is from the same kind of frequency can be heard by a human being. So why we don't hear the shaitan farting? I never heard of anyone hearing shaitan farting. This is only in the fiction stupidity of Muhammad. And then the purpose of shaitan not to hear, or the, the, the target is not to hear by doing farting. I mean, we, we, there is millions of Muslims calling for a prayer every day in the world. And now you are telling me shaitan is going to fart all over the galaxy. Is that explaining the global warming? The people who they call themselves go green, you know, keep talking about. Shaitan fart at least five times a day. When he hear 1.5 billion Muslims praying to Allah, that's the most stupid statement. Obviously, your prophet is a, is a shish kebab, falafel, you know, story maker. This is a story even kids will not believe in it they will laugh at it i challenge any muslim to make a cartoon about this who is the muslim who is proud about what he's a prophet and he is willing to make a cartoon about how shaitan fart when you muslims pray and look at the connection between the fart of shaitan and allah name you mention allah name shaitan fart shaitan fart allah name is mentioned
that is even an insult not only to a human being brain it's insult to your God you just say that shaitan fought at your Allah name same time uh, you know your prophet he is very wise saying that if you stop calling Allah for a prayer shaitan he stopped farting okay read read with me and when he hear the uh, iqama he again run away so as so as not to hear it uh, its voice and when it stop he comes back to distract but the hadith says that muhammad he was distracted by shaitan during the time he was praying which means he was saying the name of allah yet shaitan is all over him and the hadith says that muhammad he stretched his hands out so he can grab him we, obviously muhammad is lying here how shaitan run away and he fought because you say the name of allah and muhammad is a praying and shaitan is jumping over his shoulders and how muhammad learned this knowledge is that in the quran Allah, he sent the angel to say to Muhammad, hey, uh, uh, there's a connection between farting and shaitan. Is that explain why the mosque of Islam smells so bad? Is that explain why around the Kaaba, you Muslim keep spraying perfume? They have uh, three or four soldiers spraying perfume because the smell is so disgusting. People are sweating by thousands. Pagans, kissing stones, licking stones. Shaitan pissing your ears. Shaitan sleep in your nose. Shaitan round himself around your penis. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? None of you Muslims will ask himself what kind of stupid teaching this teaching is. Uh, read with me. Read. This is the knowledge. The guy is a question. Where a Christian prince he got it? He's wondering where a Christian prince he learned. Where? Maybe Zachariah Butros. No, it's not Zachariah Butros. It's Zacharnaik, my friend. The prophet P P B U H Mercedes Ben said, if any one of you intend to have sexual intercourse with his wife, he should say, Bismillah, Alham, Allahumma, Jannibna Shaitan, wa Jannibna. You have to say it in Arabic, by the way. You see an, an idiot like this guy, he has, I think he's Turkish, or a Pakistani, or Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, now he's going to have sex with his wife. His wife, she take off her panty. Zakir Naik took off his panty, and he take off his bra, and now he want to have sex. He have to say this, otherwise there is a problem. He have to say, Allahumma jannibna, Allahumma jannibna shaitan, wa jannibna, what the, what, what? Paul. لو أن أحدكم إذا أتى أهله قال بسم الله اللهم جنبنا الشيطان وجنب الشيطان ما رزقنا فقد بينهما ولا دلم يضرعوه. How in the world you can believe in this garbage? If you say such a thing, شيطان cannot hurt your your child. How how is that? What what you know? What is that? The Muslims believe you can have the you have my book Six and Allah. You will see the reference. Explain all the hadith in connection with this one. That according to Muhammad, Shaitan he wrapped himself around the penis of a Muslim when he has sex. If he did not say this prayer, so this prayer is the first condom in his in, in the history. And you you Western you say you made the condom, it was Allah. The name of Allah is the condom of the penis of a Muslim. You say the name of Allah, you say this prayer, this prayer will protect your penis. You don't do it, Shaitan will wrap himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. And then the Shaitan. When he do that, he will make the wife a bread net, and this is, will be the son of the devil. And then this person, he is going to be a bad person, supposedly. Bad person, which means he don't kill. He don't join Al-Qaeda. He don't join ISIS. He don't believe in uh, beating women or raving the kuffar. So uh, this is a, your prophet. I mean, you Muslims are worried about why Christian prince is going to Germany, but you are not worried about the stupidity you see in front of you. I want you Muslims to tell me, do you really practice this before sex?
do you really practice the prayer before the bathroom imagine we have a public bathroom I never saw Muslims waiting outside the bathroom and making the prayer because you have to say the prayer otherwise shaitan is going to you know play with your anus there's a video on YouTube Sheikh explaining that it's very funny I wish I can play it for you play it for you you would die from laughing I pray you know I played this video in 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 uh, 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 in the Philippines, people they fell down in the ground from laughing. He explained how shaitan, like you think you want to go inside the bathroom huh, for five minutes. No, shaitan is going, eh, eh, and you know, I'm just, you know, and he says, and he says, and I'm quoting him, the hadith says, the hadith says, my brother, because everybody is laughing. So he's saying to them, it's not me, I'm not stupid, it is your prophet that's stupid. Why you are laughing? The hadith says, so my friend. This is Islam, and you have no answer for anything. How you can really accept yourself to be follower of such a cult, such a garbage religion? What is the knowledge in this religion? All my knowledge, as you see, it's about farting, because Islam is a religion about farting and garbage. You know, having sex, shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of a man. What is that? You know, if we if we go right now, Let me see. All well, the hadith is the same, but we can grab any one of them and go to the Arabic because in the Arabic, in the Arabic, you know, section, in the Arabic books, you will see the story coming more clear. Look, look at the title of the book. Look at the title chapter to recite in the name of Allah during every action and on having sexual relationship one wife with one wife with one's wife but like with your wife I mean you imagine this is a book this is the this is the title and they say to us that the song of songs is a uh, uh, what is that in the name of Allah you see I don't want to use a dirty word but do you know what I'm saying to me you are saying to me, oh, in the name of Allah, I'm going to do. I mean, what is that? Even this in the name of Allah, why? Why Allah put his nose between your penis and the vagina of your wife? And Allah could not protect you, could not find a better way to protect your penis from the shaitan, except you have to say this prayer. Okay, let me ask you a question. As long as this prayer is necessarily so that the son will not be the son of shaitan. Muhammad's father, he was not a Muslim and he did not say this prayer. That's mean Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan. Obviously, Muhammad himself, he never thought about this. He's an idiot. Let us see. Alhamdulillah, Muslim article about how to pray to Allah and why is that? Uh, but it doesn't say really much. Let us see if we can find. What will happen if I forget to say the prayer before sex? What will happen? Fatwa number 135477. Okay. Question, I heard from before that if you forgot and I to say this prayer before the intercourse that say shaitan is going to see our anus and our private part. Is that uh, correct? And do I need to say this uh, prayer if I want to just play with my wife and I want to uh, I want to see her, you know, bum bum bum. The answer, Alhamdulillah, first of all. Uh, it was made as an order for the one who want to do jima sex to say Bismillah Allah Allahumma jannibna shaytana wa jannib shaytan ma razaqtana it is mentioned by Al-Bukhari hadith number 6388 and Muslim 1434 and Ibn Abbas said if one of you wanted to have sex with his wife or his family and he say this prayer, uh, uh, Allahumma, etc. Uh, then he cannot do anything between them when he have a, a son, and this son will not be hurt by shaitan. 
different story. In the story uh, of Al-Bukhari, Shaitan cannot hurt him and he cannot control him. Different story. Uh, let us see. I'm just saying to see the, 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 the all now and then now they are the same, repeating the same. Hmm. Oh, here, maybe we can find here in the second section, because I want to show you where it says Shaitan he around himself around the penis of a, of a Muslim man. Okay. Let us see. <clears throat> Look like in this website they are not saying really. I will try to find it. Maybe I will make a video just about this uh, uh, this stuff topic here but anyway if you have my books you have uh, uh, you have tons of reference about that uh, but I, I wanted to show it to you in front of you uh, so you can see with me what I'm talking about uh, let us see if I can search I don't like to mention something without really finding it <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. Ahl al Hadith. Or here we go. Let us see. Al Kitab, Sahih al Bukhari. Fatu al Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al Bukhari. Now, this idiot, this stupid Abdul from Germany, Ramazan, he will say to me, Oh, I opened uh, Sharih, uh, uh, Sahih al Bukhari. It doesn't say that. Abdul, when I mention my books, you idiot, the word Sahih al Bukhari does not mean this is book of Sahih al Bukhari. This is a book about Sahih al Bukhari. As an example, this one. Fatu al Bari, Sharhu Sahih al Bukhari. Here says Al Kitab Sahih al Bukhari Kitab al Nukah. You see here, even themselves they are saying this is Sahih al Bukhari Kitab al Nukah. But remember, I'm reading from the book. It's called Sharh al Bukhari, because this either he will say, "Oh, where can I read the number?" Read with me carefully. He is explaining how it happened. Uh, <clears throat> Let us search for it for fast finding. No, no, no. Let us see, search. I don't know why it's taking me to the wrong place. Yeah. And when the front page it appear, let us see here, it says, Here we go. This is the front one, you'll tap for Shaitan. I want to show it from this website because the Muslims they look, look like they like with this website, you know. Here we go. In the you jamia wala you send me, yell tough with Shaitan wa ala ehlilihi. For you jamia umau, the one who don't who do have sex and he don't say those words, Shaitan will round himself around his penis and he will have sex with him, which means he will have sex with his wife. So this is not my statement. Read with me carefully. I'm zooming in so everybody can see what I'm talking about. إن الذي يجامع ولا يسمي يلتف الشيطان على إحليله فيجامع معه. If you don't do that, Shaitan will wrap himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife with you. So this is the benefit of having such a prayer. I mean, how in the world 
you can't believe in such a garbage that shaitan is going to have sex with your wife actually the muslims believe one of their fiction stories that the wives of prophet solomon because in islam solomon is a prophet the wives of solomon all of them been raped by shaitan but they did it willingly which means it's not really rape allah allowed shaitan to take the shape of Suleiman, and then he slept with all the wives and then the wives they noticed that Suleiman he changed he is so good in sex before he was not this guy the new man who looked like Suleiman but they did not know that this is not Suleiman remember he was so good and he never stopped so they reported that to the elders and the ministers and they told them our husband changed he don't stop having sex how that can be then the elders they noticed that there is something fishy then about this person who claimed to be Suleiman who took over the kingdom having sex with the wives even the wives of the prophet having sex with shaitan how you accept that because remember shaitan he took the place of Suleiman for for many years uh until Suleiman he got the ring back in case you do not know Suleiman he went to the bathroom and uh, uh, when he went to the bathroom he gave uh, he gave his ring to his wife and her name is Jarada uh, let me see if I can find it in English first I can find Well, maybe it will be hard to find it in English here. But you never know, we might get lucky. Anyway, just to make it simple. Uh, when Suleiman, he went to the bathroom, he don't take the ring of Allah with him because that was, is a sign of disrespect. So he gave it to his wife, which he trusts. Her name is Jarada. And then when he was in the bathroom doing poo, -poo Shaitan came and then uh you know he came in the in the face or the look or the clone of uh, of Suleiman and he told the wives of Suleiman uh you know uh, I am Suleiman give me the ring she gave him the ring he became the king as simple as that you can make this movie as a cartoon a cartoon movie wonderful and then Suleiman he lost his kingdom uh, and uh, he went working as a putter in the in the port he carries uh, things for people uh, and one day a guy he he bought two uh, like few fish and he told him Suleiman told him if I carry the fish for you from the market to your house what you will give me the guy he give you he said I will give you a fish as a payment Suleiman he carried the fish for him uh, and went all the way with this guy uh, where he gave him the fish let's see this is the book of al-iman all right so in the uh, website of al-iman uh, the book name al-kamil of al-tariq okay the kroon maliki dawood this is the story in front of us how he took the ring uh, of Suleiman and how with this guy blah 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 it's okay uh, if we read the story in details you will die from laughing uh, okay let us see <clears throat> when Suleiman sorry hold on this is David David now the story here about David and then if we go down we will see Suleiman, uh huh. And by the way, the Muslims they make fun of David in the Bible. They say that David he did send a wife, a husband to war, so he will be killed. The Muslims believe in the same story. They see the stupid they are making fun of it. It's in front of us. It says when when David he heard. Uh, uh, about the beauty of the wife of a man, his name Oria, he wished that she can be his wife. So, uh, uh, and it happened that Oria he was sent to do jihad. You know the same story. And then here you will see that David he said 
that today my has my my you know uh, uh, like uh, I'm going to sleep with 99 wives and the Quran called them uh, goats and I will make uh, from every woman a child so he can go to jihad but anyway we want to go to the story about about the ring let us see where is the story uh, here we go ذكر رزوة كجرادة ونكاحة وعبادة الصنم في داره وأخذ وأخذ غات. okay here we go. it's been it's been told that Suleiman he heard about an a king who he like he is a king of an island of the of the sea and then he just like he he liked to go there and blah 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 and then. The, you know, and the, the wind carry him. You know, Muslims believe that Suleiman he have a flying carpet, and then he came down with his army, and then he killed the king, and he took all the money of that king, and then he one of the booties he took it was a daughter of that king. Nobody saw someone beautiful like her, and then he took her to himself and he invited her to Islam. This is Muhammad. This is David. Sorry, this is Suleiman, the version, the version copy of the Muslim Suleiman. He went to an island. He killed the, the king. He killed his soldiers. He killed everybody. He raped the women, and he take now the daughter of the king, and he raped her. And then he told her, you know, you better convert to Islam. And then she became a Muslim, and he became in love with her so much. Uh, the story, you know, it's the, the continue. And then one day. Uh, Let us see what happened. So Shaitan, he played with his, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, you know what they call it, the, the flute, like, you know, the one that the shepherd they play with, the, the machine for music. So the Shaitan, he played with it. And then he made Shaitan, he made an image like the image of, of Suleiman. All right. Uh, oh. And they made her dress. Actually, this is about her, the, the women. Sorry, the story here is different from the one I uh, I, I read uh, uh, in uh, in another book. And here they they dress her as the clothes of her father. Uh, and when Suleiman he came out uh, to check in his uh, sex slaves, Jawariha, you know, uh, okay. Uh, it's just, it's, you know, I mean, this stupid story. I mean, I don't know what to, what to read, but I'm trying to find like. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. this is need really. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save this uh, to uh, to my bookmark because this is need long story. However, uh, in this story here. إذا أراد أن يصيب امرأة فيسلمه إليها حتى يتطهر. When Suleiman, the story here it says, uh, when Suleiman, he don't take his ring unless he wanna go to the bathroom, or if he want to have sex with the women. So he leave the ring with this woman, and he his kingdom was in his ring, which means the power of his kingdom in the ring. And once he enter the bathroom to do poo poo, and he gave his ring to her, which means his wife. And Shaitan came to him. His name is Sakhar. Shaitan name is Sakhar. To translate to you, his name is Peter. The Shaitan, his name is Peter. Because Sakhar, Sakhar, Peter means Sakhar, the rock. So his name is Sakhar. And he is a genie in the image of Suleiman. And he took the ring. And when Suleiman, he get out to go to his chair, uh, sorry, and he took he took the ring and then uh, he went to the chair of Suleiman, which means he made himself the king. And he is in the image of Suleiman, which means the shaitan. He took the image of Suleiman and he sat in the chair of Suleiman. And then all the genies and a human being they are under his command. Then Suleiman he get out, get out, which means he get out of the palace. I mean, this, look, look how silly the story. I mean, if we have now two guys look like Suleiman. Shouldn't the people see the two guys that there's two guys now there's something wrong? No, the real Suleiman he get out from the bathroom, he saw what happened he ran away. I mean, what is, this is stupid. He will not scream. He will say, "I am the real one. This guy is a shaitan." This, what's wrong with you? He can say things nobody knows. The wives knows only. So.
So Suleiman, he got his clothes, he changed his clothes, and he left the palace. And he changed even his look. Uh, uh, and no, no, actually, look, look what it says. Uh, and he found himself, his look changed. Suleiman, he found that his look changed, which means Shaitan was able to change the look of Suleiman. This is amazing. Look, Shaitan is Allah. He is the God of the Muslims. Because how Shaitan can change? Okay, Shaitan changed his look, but he can change the look of Suleiman too. And then he says, my ring, my ring. And he and she said to him, who are you? Which means the wife. He said, I am Suleiman. She said, you are a liar. You are not Suleiman. Suleiman came and he took the ring already from me. And now he is sitting in his bed. And then Suleiman, he noticed that he made a mistake. So he went out and he starts saying to children of Israel, I am Suleiman, I am Suleiman. And they throw rocks and dust at him, which means they make fun of him. Nobody believe him. Then he went uh, to, the, to the seaside and he started carrying the fish of the fishermen. And every day they pay him as, pay, as payment two fish in return. So this guy, he worked with the fishermen, he carried their fish, and the whole day he worked like a donkey, and the, the payment is two fish. And he, he sell one fish to, to, to make bread, and he eat the other one. And he and it was this case for 40 days, according to the story, you know. So 40 days, Shaitan is having sex with the wives. All right. Uh... Anyway, you can read more reference in my book. Here the story is getting in more silly details. Uh, let us see. Ah, the elders here, they decide. They notice that there is something fishing about the shaitan who claimed to be, who cloned Suleiman. So the elder, they said, okay, let us enter to his wives and ask them about things ring things like uh, something wrong he is doing so they went and he found that he is doing like you know obviously he is doing something in sex is not right uh, all right and then when they said to him that what Suleiman the new Suleiman is doing uh, the guy he said which means, I, you know, I seek refuge by Allah from what he is doing. Obviously, he is having sex with him like crazy. Anyway, so the story continues. And then Suleiman, one day, he got two fish as usual. And one he sold it and he kept the other one. Uh, but look what happened. And when Shaitan, he noticed that they noticed about him or they learned about him that he is a fake Suleiman, he fly. Shaitan fly. Shaitan can fly from his uh, the palace of Suleiman and then he went by the sea and he threw the ring in the sea and then a fish swallowed the ring and then a fisherman fished the fish which he swallowed the ring and then Suleiman he carried in that day a fish or he carried the fish as usual and the, and this guy he gave him two fish one of them is the one when he opened it he found his ring he opened the fish to, to, to eat it. He found his ring inside. So he took his ring and he put it in his finger and he they bow down to Allah. And then all the genies and mankind start going to serve him because now he became the king again. I mean, you make fun of the king of the ring. You make fun of the Lord of the ring, whatever you call it. This is, this is the story is taken from here. And this is what the Muslims, you know, uh, uh, believe in. This is the same garbage. Uh, here the same, yeah, the same story. Yeah, uh, Islam is nothing but a, a collection of stupid legions, and all of this you can find, by the way. Muhammad he took many stories from the legion of the Jews. The Jews they have many fiction stories to tell them to their kids. Suleiman have a flying carpet. Muhammad he heard it, he believe it. Suleiman have a ring. Muhammad he heard it, he believe it. Uh, Suleiman he controlled the genie. Suleiman he controlled magic. Uh, Suleiman, uh, he have an army of chicken, you know. Uh, Suleiman, he have birds who they are ministers. Those, ch those, these are stories for kids. Only donkeys will believe in them. Uh, uh, the story in the Quran about Suleiman, he heard an ant. You can find it. There is a book. It's called the Legion of the Jews. Go and read it. It's for it's for free in the internet. Uh, 
So all those stories, Muhammad, he took it from the Jews, which is a fiction stories, only donkeys will believe in it. And Muhammad, he put it in his religion as if it is coming truly from the true God. Let us say another way, Muhammad was a victim of the fiction stories of the Jews, including the punishment of the grave, including many, many things. Uh, anyway, it's very clear that Muslims, they have a really, uh, you know, they, you know they, they believe any garbage. And now when you start digging in their books, they will say to you, we don't accept this story. Who, who, who is the one who will say, I don't accept this story? The educated one. This story was repeated, taught, taught, believe in for the last 14 centuries. I remember once when Abdul, his name is Osama Abdullah, he came to my, uh, when I used to be uh, doing chat room in Palto, he said to me, who believe in magic except the stupid ones? I said, are you sure? He said, yes. Okay. Well, I told him, but the Quran says there is magic. He said, no way, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. So I showed him the verse in the Quran. And the Quran teach that Suleiman have control of magic, Shaitan have control of magic, and the one who taught all mankind, including the genie, magic, it was two angels. One of them is Harut, and the other one is Marut. Chapter 2, verse 102. As you see in the front of your eyes. And why Allah he taught the, the, the angels, he, Allah he opened a school in the Babylon. Why, why the name of the Babylon here appear? The Babylon. The Sabians believe that God he sent, or gods, they send angels. And you know, the, the Sabians, they have like ranks of creatures. Like there is gods who create, there is gods who, they have jobs. So they send two angels in the Babylon Tower <clears throat> and the purpose is and their name is Harut and Marut and the purpose is to teach magic so a man and wife <clears throat> divorce each other let me <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> my throat went dry sorry so Harut and Marut they are angels sent by Allah to, to open a school university for magic the same as in Hoributar movie before you join the school, they will make you sign a disclaimer. They say they will not teach anyone, but neither of those of these, which mean the angels, taught anyone such a thing without saying we are only for a trial. So don't bless me. And you know, and then they teach you. So they make you agree with disclaimer. This is just a trial. We will teach you. You like to do we learn? Okay, we will teach you magic. And to do what? We learn you, we teach you magic so you can make a husband and wife fight so they get divorced. I mean, what kind of God does God here do such a thing? He sent two angels to down in the, in the earth. He opened a school teaching people how to make husband and wife fight and they end in divorce. This is the purpose of the school. And then he says, but they could not uh, harm anyone except by Allah prom permission as you see Allah permission so magic is done by a human being he learned from shaitan shaitan learned from the angel at the end of the day all of the harm is done by Allah it's Allah who gave a permission for the shaitan for the angels to teach magic and to practice and to hurt others this is why the, when the Muslims they blame me as you see it's done by Allah permission what's, what's your problem don't you believe Allah permission? Are you, you know, and this is telling us that Islam is a false religion because if every harm done by Allah permission, well, why Allah is allowing me to harm him then? And why he asked the Muslims to kill me then? I mean, you allow me, you make me do it. And the Muslim believe in destiny. If you remember the hadith of Adam where it says that Adam, he commits sin because Allah, he made him commit sin. It was his destiny. So you made me commit this. You commit sin. Do the do sin. It was my destiny. And then you want to harm me for doing what you told me to do, what you ordered me to do, what you forced me to do. This is why I say Islam is a stupid religion. It's a cult born out of many cults. Islam is a collection of cults. Nasara, which is a fake Christian belief. This is why Muhammad cannot even understand what the Christians believe. And he think the Christians believe that father 
son and wife, her name is Mary. This is what he believed. Muhammad never mentioned in his Quran that the Holy Spirit is uh, 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 in the Trinity. What Muhammad he believed that the Christians believe that there is Mary, there is Jesus, and there is the husband of Mary, which is Allah. But none of the Christians believe in that. So Muhammad, he himself is born out of many cults, many fictions, many stories, many false religious religions around around him. And from them, he tried to make a religion, and supposedly he is the one who want to guide everybody for the right thing. So Christians don't say uh, God is a tree, but he's talking about Mary. But none of us believe in such a garbage. We don't believe in that. Oh, you know, the, the, I remember the that he said, not a single Jew believe that God is a trinity or God have a son. Not a single Jew. And this is the that, the video in YouTube. But the Quran says that the Jews believe that Allah have a son and his name is Uzair. And neither the Jews, neither us believe in Allah anyway. And who is Uzair? Where Muhammad he got Uzair from? Can we find Uzair in the Quran in the, in the in the Torah? We cannot find such a thing. Waqat al Yahud, Uzair ibn Allah, Waqat al Nasara, al Masih ibn Allah. So Muhammad is talking about the Jews. They have son of Allah. His name is Uzair, and the Nasara, not the Christians. Muslim they translate the Christians. The Nasara, which is a false sect of Christianity, and read with me. They uh, the Jews call Uzair a son of Allah and the Christians call Christ the son of Allah but obviously there is a wrong information there find me one Jew believe in some someone his name is Uzair and he is a son of God just one don't tell me from all the Jews in the world not even one of them believe in this garbage the only answer is that Muhammad he met the Jews he met the Jews who they are maybe believing in Jesus and he called the name wrongly the same he called them the name of Jesus as Isa mostly Muhammad obviously he cut Isa from Esos from the Greek language and he got the word gospel as Injil and that makes sense that both of them they are coming from the Greek language and this is telling us that Muhammad knew nothing about Jesus he know only what he heard from someone he learned about Jesus from the Greek, the Greek language he did not learn about Jesus from somebody is a Jew who speak Hebrew otherwise why he is calling Jesus Isa and why he is calling uh, the gospel of Jesus in the Greek name why he don't use a Hebrew name you notice that the Torah is called Torah in the Quran which means the name is correct and the Njil is a correct name actually but it is not the Hebrew name but the Muslim they claim that Jesus or Isa is a messenger only was sent to the Jews so how his name is not a Hebrew name his name is Isa or Esos and his <coughs> his book name is a Greek uh, book Anyway, I, I I cannot continue. Sorry, my voice is going dry. I have a long trip to 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 go through. Uh, I I will be uh, most likely I will not be able to do any broadcast until I am back to the state, and that will be almost more than a week. Uh, the place I'm going to, the internet is really bad, and I will try. You know, I will I will do my best if I can. But if I could not, just guys, don't be worried. I might be away for I will be in by in the state by September uh, 7 evening or night and uh, you know I mean September 7 September 8 something like this and then we will start doing our live show again we will take uh, phone calls uh, as usual Skype and things will be better for now I'm just using little tiny tablet taking it around with me uh, to do my my broadcast I want to say thank you for all those who join us and all those who support what we do. And uh, feel free to read my books if you'd like to learn more about Islam. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.